Hi, guys. Hi, teacher. How are you? Good, good. How are you? Pretty good also. Yeah? Okay, yeah. Good. Um, how was your day today? It has been good also because we have worked today, so we have a job, right? That's that's good <laughs> nowadays. Yeah, you're absolutely right about that. You know, sometimes we say, oh, you know, I have too much work, but yeah. at least we have a job, right? Um, yeah. and people don't have a job, so yeah, we, yeah. we should be thankful and grateful for that. You're absolutely right about that. Yeah. Okay, what about the others? How was your day? Hi, teacher. Hi. So far, so good. So far, so good? Yes. Good. Excellent. All right. Uh, okay, so I have, wow, we have a small group today. We just have Elmer and Raphael, Luis and Josue. Where are my other students? Wow. Could it be too early maybe? I don't know. Maybe they, they stayed in platform. Oh yeah. Uh, by the way, guys, are you are you um have you been able to work on the platform? Oh, they are. Okay, there's some more coming. Are you able to work on the platform? Yes, no. So, so, so I guess. Okay. And I have some problem with with uh, with one point in the third point, but actually, mañana tomorrow I'm going to see why. I, I guess is problem with the when when I wrote the sentence. Maybe I wrong with some words. Maybe I don't know. Um, okay. Do you want to ask me? Like, do you want to tell me what what you seem to be, what would seem to be the problem? Um, I can't really. Uh, I can't now because I don't remember what point is. But it, it, it's only it's only one really. Okay. I guess it's it's probably with the with the with some word I I'm warm I I I, I was uh, reading some word but maybe I guess I I need I need check tomorrow that. Okay. Okay. But 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 is if I was wrong or I can understand it, that point I tomorrow will will. We'll we'll know we'll know okay. what is, what is the problem. Okay, all right. Um, if you have any questions, just um, go ahead and ask me. Um, I also uh, wanted to tell you guys you may you may not necessarily, but you may have had some problems with the platform it, because uh, there was some technical issues that were happening today with the platform. So if you guys have went into the platform and you were not able to work on it. And don't worry, don't panic. It's something, it's not just you, it was something, it was a technical problem um, like internationally there with the platform. So um, we are working on it so that you know, we can get it fixed as soon as possible. Okay? Okay. All right, good, good, good. Okay, guys. Um, so, um, well, first of all, guys, uh, let me tell you that, um, well, yesterday we started talking a little bit about um, the difference between the present continuous, sorry, the past continuous and the simple past, right? And today we're actually gonna be practicing a little bit with that, okay? But before we practice, let's review, okay? because I wanna make sure that you completely understand about the, the two forms, okay? 
By the way, for those of you that were not here yesterday, uh, for whatever reasons, uh, remember that you can always go into the YouTube playlist and um, look at the, the, the video from the class that is always uploaded before eight in the morning. Okay, so we have past, oops. Okay, so we have the past perfect that versus the past simple. Okay. And what I was to explain to you is pretty much that um, these two these two um, these two structures are pretty much they're both in the past, but they are like the two actions of the past, okay? And I explained to you that if this is the present, all of everything that happens here, oops, so everything that happens here is gonna be the past. So everything over here is the past. If this, if this is the past, because this is going to be the present. Okay. So if this is the present, uh, that means that everything over here is the past. And I basically explained that there were going to be two uh, struct or better two two events. Let's say the first event we can say that it's let's say that it's here. Let me change the color. We're going to say that the first event is over here. And we said that there's another event as well. I'm going to make that. And the event is going to be, the other event is going to be here. Okay, so we have two events. Chronologically speaking, this is the first event. Okay. So this is the first event. And this one is going to be the second event. Okay. And what the, the peculiar thing about this is that uh, with the first event, what happens is that it continues for a period of time. Okay. And most of the time, what happens is that it continues up to the moment where it gets interrupted by the second event. Okay, it gets interrupted by this event. And I told you yesterday that one of the ways that you can identify which one is the first event and the second event and which one is um, in the past in the past 
sorry, in the past continuous, then this one, this first one, is a long activity, something that happens for a long period of time. So it's going to happen for probably many minutes, many um, hours, many days, many weeks even, okay? And this action is quite short. This action is something that, boom, it just happens. Probably it's going to only take a few um, milliseconds or a few seconds um, or even maybe a minute, but not longer, okay? All right, does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, good. So remember that the first event is going to be in the, just to make this shorter, I think I don't want to be spelling that much. I don't want to confuse you too. So just, I'm going to be putting CP, sorry, PC, better said, for past continuous. So this one's going to be in the past continuous. And this one over here is going to be in the sim in the past simple. Or S or P S. Oops. Okay. Um, now, like I said, most of the time it's interrupted. So in other words, this event, this event stops the moment that this one happens normally. But sometimes it could also be something that, um, it, you know, was just taking place at the same time, right? So for example, uh, maybe I could say, um, I don't know, I was taking a shower uh, when he came over to visit. So I didn't, See, I wasn't able to see him. Now, obviously, taking a shot, or better said, him coming to my house didn't interrupt me taking a shower, right? Because I never even noticed. I, I didn't even find out that he was in my house, right? Um, so it didn't interrupt that action. But it, this action did, was in progress. It was a long, actually. Uh, uh, taking a shower is going to take me minutes, and in some people's cases, maybe up to an hour. Right. Um, so that's going to be a long activity. And he comes to visit. Yes, maybe he stays for a long time, but the actual part of coming to my house doesn't take a long time. That that actual action of coming to my house is not really taking a long time. And if you notice, that happens at the same time. Okay. So some of the words that we can use when we are uh, making these sentences are, for example, I'm actually going to move this so that I have a little bit more space. Okay. Um, so some of these sentences could be something like this. Okay. So I can say, for example, um, I was, oops, sorry, let's change it. I was taking a shower uh, when he um, came to my house. So I missed him. Okay, so I was taking a shower when he came to my house, so I missed him. Okay, so uh, I was taking a shower would be the past continuous. Remember how, how you make the past continuous is using, is using the verb to be, okay, and the verb, and the verb plus the ing. And so in this case, was taking. Okay, and the passport in the simple past would be over here, came. Right, it's an array. That's an irregular verb. Now, what note? What um? What word contrasts these two? Which is the word that contrasts them? When. Exactly. We're using the word when to contrast them. 
in that moment. Okay. I'm actually going to make this a little bit smaller so I can fit more, ex nice, more examples in here. So I'm going to have to make this one smaller too. Okay. All right. Um, okay. I'll give you another one. Uh, I could say, for example, uh, while I was taking a shower, he came to my house. So I missed him. Okay. So in this case, which one am I using to uh, to contrast the idea? What word am I miss? Um, am I am I using? What word am I using? The comma. The comma. Mm, no. While. Exactly. I'm using the word while to show that this action was in progress when this one happened. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Okay. All right. I'll give you another example just to make sure you understand perfectly. Um, let me change it. So he got sick while he was visiting his family back home. Okay. What is the word that I'm using to show their the relationship? Why? While, exactly. So and notice this one doesn't interrupt, right? It, it's not like getting sick interrupts me visiting or he visiting his family back home. This doesn't necessarily interrupt it, right? Um, so just because, oh, sorry. Okay, is. Um, just because he got sick didn't mean that he stopped visiting his family back home, right? So sometimes it doesn't necessarily interrupt the action. It just happens in that moment, right? Um, in now, something else I want you to notice that I'm using over here, I'm using the same words, while and while. But if you notice the position is different. Why is it different? But simply because in this one, I start using, I start talking about the past continuous. And then I say, well, so while I was taking a shower, he came to my house. Um, actually, I'm missing something. I just realized that. There's a comma. There should be comma there. So while I was taking a shower, he came to my house. Um, so in this one, I start with while, um, and then I talk about the the second, the other action, which was he came to my house. In this one, I decided to talk about first the simple past or the past simple. And then I talked about the past uh, continuous. That's why while is in the beginning. 
is right is in the middle. So just something you've got to make sure is that the word while comes before the 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 clause of the um, past continuous. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Sorry, guys. I just realized that I was. Okay. And so, like I said, we can also use the word when. That's the other one we can use. Okay. Okay, guys. So this is all nice and everything, beautiful. We understand and all. But what's the what's the importance of this? Like, when am I going to use it? Well, that's exactly what we're going to do right now. We're going to actually start using it. And how we're going to use it is, I want you to think about a story about your last vacation. I know this feels like a whoo, long time ago. You probably don't even remember anymore when the last vacation was. You probably don't remember what the, the uh, vacation is, <laughs> you know, because of the situation. But let's let's just um let's just remind remember okay let's just pretend that we remember and um, what I want you to do is I'm going to I'm going to get you to work in small groups okay and I want you to tell your partner about the um, the story of what happened while you were on vacation okay so I want you to use as many sentences in the simple past as possible, but also use the past progressive or the past continuous. Got it? Yes. Yes. Okay. So everybody's clear on what we're gonna be doing? Yes, teacher. Okay, all right. So this time I'm not going to get you to work with a partner. Instead, this time I'm gonna be getting you to work in groups, okay? So here we go. Mm -hmm. Second. I'm gonna get, let leave it open for about 10 more minutes. Yeah. Okay, actually, no. I want to make it 12 minutes to give you guys probably a chance, at least about, you know, three minutes for everybody to talk. Okay, so, all right, join your groups.
Hi, Samuel. Are you there? Samuel, are you there? Samuel, can you hear me? Can you open up your microphone? Okay. Um, Samuel, what I'm going to do is hi. I'm going to be, hi, can you hear me? Yes. Yes. My okay, good, excellent, excellent. Beauty. Okay, so Samuel, yeah. what I'm gonna do is I'm going to be sending you to one of the groups. We're right now we're in the in the um the the breakout rooms, and so I'm gonna be sending you to one of the groups so that you can practice um talking about a different stories um about your last vacation. So think about your last vacation, I know it feels like a long time ago, but try yeah. to remember what was your last vacation. And I want you to make sentences using the present continuous and the simple past. Okay? Okay. Okay. All right. So I'm going to right now sign you to a group. Okay. Thanks. There you go. You've been assigned. So Samuel, can you join? Samuel, are you able to join? To Tamanique. Uh -huh. Because there are people that say that that you have to walk like 30 minutes because there are like three or four waterfalls. But it depends. Just... It depends on you because there are four principally waterfalls. Mm -hmm. In the last one, yes, is the path is so difficult yes uh, but but the 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 big one is the last one or yes it's the last you... one yes it's the oh, last one okay. yes the biggest but it's like the, the most the big... famous right <clears throat> yes it's where the people take a picture oh, okay mm -hmm. and you need an explorer to go with you to, to show you the, the the way or not. Yes, when you when you apply to the park, mm -hmm. you can you can ask for the a guide. And how much uh, is the cost? The cost. It depends of the, the deal that mm -hmm. you that you do because mm -hmm. some people uh, ask you for about three dollars, five dollars per person. Per person, oh. yes. Um, class, just uh, wondering, guys, if you uh are having problems with the simple past and the uh, in the past continuous. No, teacher. This mm -hmm. was only a parenthesis. Okay. Yes. I'm so sorry. Oh, it's okay. Yeah. I, know. I just oh, sorry. I just no, no. Don't know if you're having any problems. If you need, if you need help, you have questions. 
No, for me at the moment, no. Just one question, teacher. How can I say? Well, I will. I wanted to say I was walking in Spanish it's in la orilla de la playa. But I I was looking for that, and I found that is seashore. Yes, the, the yeah, the seashore, correct. Uh huh. Sure. But but for example, in um, Nerif, not the, the, the sea shores in a short of something else is the same, like shore or not. The seashore. Yeah, but for example, if uh, the, it's not the sea shore, I, I don't know if you understand me. Okay, I'm going to write the word on, in the chat. Okay, so this, uh -huh. this is seashore. Yeah, but that's only for the sea. sea. Uh -huh. Yes, it's only oh. for the sea. And if you want to say uh, shore, for example, in a waterfall or in a, or in a lake. Oh, okay. Um, it's the same word. Or so for example, not. for a river, it would be the river bank. Sorry? The river banks. Oh. Yeah, that would be for a river. Okay. And That's the same, the same meaning. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, exactly, exactly. Just like the, 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 the outside part of the river, that would be the sea. Sorry, the, the, the river bank. Mm -hmm. um, and in terms of a lake, um, um, it would be the lake shoreline. Lake shoreline. Yeah, or yeah, or the or you could also say just simply the lake shores. It's okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Welcome. Any other questions? No, teacher. No, teacher. Thank you. No? Just a little bit. We can use uh, when with present progressive, past progressive, but not. We can use when, uh-huh. Yes, okay. Oh, uh, yeah, we can use a when with the present, the, the, the past progressive or the past continuous. Yeah. Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Yeah, any other questions you guys have? Something I can help you with? Uh, no, I think, I think not for now. Okay. Well, if you guys have any other questions, I'll come back and help you. Okay. Just you can just okay. go and ask me. Thank you. Yeah. Cool. Why are just it's the the second language is you have to know. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So that's why. And because I'm. You know, in the future, when I got graduate from the university, yeah, I think it's gonna be necessary because I'm going to work in supply change management, cadena de suministro. So, yeah, I need that base for trade with others, corporation. You know. It's necessary to talk in English. Uh, do you guys have any questions about using the past uh, continuous and the simple past? Mm, no. Yeah, not, not teacher. We're uh, fine. Not teacher. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, are you able to do the, do you understand the, the exercise? 
Yeah, we have to talk about yeah. our last vacation, right? Exactly. Are you guys finished or do you need more time? No, we have finished, I think. Or maybe Dennis. Yeah. No, we're fine. We just finished. Okay. <laughs> you you used all of the simple past and the past and the past continuous? Continuous, yes. Yeah? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well guys. But you but you can give us more minutes to, to keep Yeah, to, th that's uh, what I was gonna tell you that uh -huh. even though you're finished, uh it's important that you continue practicing your English. So you can go ahead and um and continue asking questions and using the simple path and the past continuous. Okay? Okay, teacher. All right, so I'll see you guys okay, uh, in a moment back in the main room. So you guys right. are working on it so far. Thank you. You're welcome. I, I, I was... I was playing in 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 a in a soccer team uh, a few years ago, really. But I I was playing <laughs> a team soccer. But uh, I I remember sometimes uh, in in uh, we took place with other group in I don't uh, let me remember um, San Jose Las Flores. Do you know that place? Yeah, I think. It's near yeah, to yeah. Apopa. Yeah. Uh, I remember when, yeah, when, yeah. when we was when we was it's playing. So, it's, it's, it's so difficult in that in that place, and uh, anybody in my team yeah. knows about that Thank place <laughs> in that moment <laughs> oh. when 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 we when we when we was playing in in that place in San Jose. Uh -huh. uh, uh, you know when you when you was playing soccer, sometimes uh, you you play so hard with with the with the other team, right? Yeah. And the other team was gangster. When was gangster? Um, <laughs> I remember. And <laughs> remember, uh, we only uh, you only saw many many gangster uh, went out the other places. We ran at the cars or, or at the pickup, and mm. we 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 lived we lived this place. Yeah. Behind. Yes. We yes, live, I we remember live. that. Yeah. Yeah. Before That's there exactly. there used to be many safe places, and well, we, that we used to visit with my team. I remember because we used to go to to play soccer to other places and there wasn't um, any trouble and I don't know well nowadays it's very difficult to try to do that right yeah it's so difficult yeah you guys to interrupt yeah, and that, you know, that, that, that. Do you guys, uh, need any help or do you have any questions about this exercises about simple past and past continuous no, not really. We are we're fine. Yeah, In fact, I okay. I guess we were trying to use the words while and when as okay. many times as we could. <laughs> good. 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 Okay. All right. Well, if you guys need any help, okay. I think okay. we're going to be seeing okay. each other soon. In the okay. Next. Okay. 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 But continue, continue telling the story. Oh, okay. 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 Go ahead. Don't worry. <laughs> then I'm not here. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Do you play soccer, Samuel? Uh...
Okay, so I think I have everybody back. All right, so um, questions about the use of those two structures? Any questions? Well, I think no. Um, um, can I ask you a little question? Sure. Um, for can example, okay. I, when I while I was um, talking to my classmate, I remember that I used a word about I was wondering if it's a non-countable noun or countable noun. It's travel. I said I remember that I said travel. I said travel. Sorry. And after I, I was wondering if, if it's countable now or is non-countable now. Uh, travel is a verb. No, no, trouble. Oh, the trouble. Trouble, I mean, trouble. trouble. Uh, T-R-O-U-B-L-E. Yeah, trouble, T-R-O-U-B-L-E. B L E A E. Yeah, like a synonym yeah. of, of, of problems. Yeah, like yeah. A problem. Just like yeah. problems, it's countable. Countable. Yeah, it's countable. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Any other questions that you guys have? Maybe uh, when you use past continue, always uh, you use uh, to action. It's always no, or maybe no, no. Uh, sometimes you can just use the, the past continuous, but what we need to know when we need to contrast them, right? That's what's important here. Uh, so we, I could just say simply, um, last night at, um, or I, I last night at seven o'clock I was having dinner. I was having dinner. So that's the present continuous. And I could say that if I wanted. Um, and I'm not contrasting, I'm not using the simple past. But um, but if I can but if I want to say something that happened that interrupted my dinner, for example, I could say last night at seven o'clock I was having dinner when the phone rang and uh, it was the hospital that was calling me to tell me that my sister had just been taken to the emergency room. Something like that. Does that make sense? Yes, yeah, thank you. Okay, good, good. Any other questions? No? No, teacher. Everything is clear? Okay. All right, good. Um, so uh, that is uh, something that um, the information that we have seen, it will should be enough to get you uh, to uh, section 4.5, so 4.4 of the, of the, um, what's it called? Um, of the platform, okay? Remember that in this week, we should be finished, uh, we should be finishing section number four. Uh, has everybody done the section three and the midterm? Has everybody finished that? Yes. Yesterday I started the uh, section number four. Good, 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 good. Okay, uh, let me ask individually, Dennis, are you finished section three? Yes, I just completed it in a few hours ago. Okay, good. Yeah. And yep. have you done the midterm? Yes, I just completed it. Excellent, very good. So Raphael, you are starting section four? Yeah, I'm in 4.3 or point four. I don't remember well. Okay. Perfect. And the midterm, you finished that too? Yeah. Okay, wonderful. Samwen? Are you, how about you? Are you finished section three? Uh, yeah, yes, yeah. I start, I finished the last week. 
API. Let me check. I start the, the, the section five. Oh, wow. Okay, good. That's excellent. That's excellent. So you did the midterm as well? Section, uh, section five. Okay. Yeah. Good. Excellent. Good. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, what about Luis? Are we finished section three? Uh, not at all. Uh, I only, only I left behind one point, three point, three point three. I guess I don't remember well, but it's the only point. Okay. Okay. All right. But the yeah. But okay. So this is one. And did you do the final exam? Yes. Yes. I guess tomorrow uh, finish the section three and start the section four. Okay. Good. Okay, good. Excellent. Um, all right. Let's see. Alex, how about Alex? How are you finished? No yet, teacher. But tonight I'm gonna. I'm gonna do it. Okay. Uh, how far are you? I mean the section three in the point. Maybe I don't remember, but there is a little bit that is missing. Okay. All right. But you're in section three. Okay. So. You're just a little bit behind, you, yeah. but that'll be enough. To, you, you should be able to catch up. Good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to work it tonight. Okay, excellent. Okay. And Juan Manuel? Okay. Yeah, I finished the session three. Okay. The last weekend. Excellent. Yeah, I mean the, the midterm. 4.3, well. I think. Okay. The midterm yeah. as well? Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. Good, excellent. Okay. Uh, and what about Wilmer? Yes, teacher. I finished the section three and I did my mid exam. Excellent. Okay, perfect. Okay. Tell me, how are you doing? I am in section 5.3. Oh, okay. I did the mid there also. Yeah, well, I'm sure you did if you're already on 5.3. Okay, wow, that's great. That's excellent, Delvin, very good. Okay, all right, Alexandra? That's oh, right, Alejandra. Sorry, Alejandra, I can, I can barely hear you. Could you repeat that a little bit louder? Sorry, I said that I haven't finished the section three, but I will do it later tonight. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, where are you? What section are you on? Um, like in the middle of the section three, I don't remember. Okay. Like maybe point four. Okay, so you're in section three point four, around there? Yeah. Okay, so you're almost at, you're almost caught up. Right? So you just have to do a little bit more. Yeah, I'll do it later tonight. Okay, okay not a problem. Okay, and Josue? Can you hear us, Josue? This way, no, can't hear us. Okay. All right. Uh, what I want, okay, we're gonna, what we're gonna do right now in the last few minutes of the class, I'm going to write down, uh, sorry, sorry. I'm going to uh, put on uh, the video that is in the platform. It's in one of the sections in uh, section 4.6. And what I want you to do is I want you to take notes on the on the on the video, but I want to I want you to specifically take notes about the activities, the actions that happen, so that later you can retell the story using the past continuous and the simple past. Does that make sense? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. 
good. So remember, take notes so that we can later. Right now, we're not going to do it because we don't, because of time, we won't be able to do everything. But uh, I want you right now to take notes about that uh, will help you for tomorrow to be able to um, retell the story using simple past and past continuous. Okay, so here we go. Let's. Um, Okay, you know when you can see, that you can see it. Can yeah, you see we... it? Okay, just give me a second, I'm gonna have problems here, so. Hi everyone, by the end of this class you'll develop skills in listening for details, develop note-taking skills, listen to news stories. We will listen to an audio program with different news stories. Your task is to take notes and identify story take place, when did it happen, and what actually happened. So let's listen to the audio program at this time. A man was seriously injured on Sunday by a three-and-a-half-meter snake in a town in Thailand. It seems that the man ran over to see the snake after friends told him that it was beside one of the town's main roads. The man put it around his neck, and while he and his friends were walking home, the snake squeezed more and more tightly. Luckily, the man got the snake off his neck in time. Two teenage girls who disappeared from a ship were found alive and well. The girls turned up on Friday near a small town on the northeast coast of Australia. Fell asleep in their friend's car. I don't know if it's my computer, but I can't hear the audio. Yeah, I can't. Two police officers were chasing a car thief when they suddenly lost control of their vehicle. Sorry, guys, uh, you couldn't hear it very well. No, teacher, is is uh, it sounds like a radio, like a radio. Yes, and and uh, at least me, I can't understand it well. well yeah, I couldn't understand too. Okay, it might be because of the problems that we're having with the platform right now. Okay, but anyways, what we can do then is I'll leave that for him. Okay, um, so. You guys, like, this is on section 4.6, so you can go um, in the platform. Hopefully, the platform will be fixed very soon, and you will be able to all work on it, okay? So I want you guys to uh, go see the, 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 the new stories and write down the notes so that tomorrow you can retell the stories using the simple past and the present and the present no sorry simple past and the past continuous does that make sense okay let me let me see if okay. i understood we're going to write a little history little story about using simple past and past progressive uh no 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 okay in the video we heard some story right? Yeah. New stories. So what you're going to do is you're going to just take notes about what yeah. happened in the stories. Like you're okay. going to be listening to it, writing them in your yeah. notes, uh, yeah. just the main information so that later okay. tomorrow when we have um, the class, you will be able to retell the story using the simple past and the past continuous. Ah, okay, with own words. With your own words, yes. With your own words. Okay. Yeah. 
just using the notes. Okay, which section did you say that it was the? That's 4.6. 4.6, it's okay. called news broadcasts. Okay, thanks. Okay, so you can go ahead and, and make uh, notes. I don't want you to do okay. it. I don't want you to write everything that they say, just yeah. the important information so that you can retell the story. Okay. Okay, sounds good everybody? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. All right. Any questions you want to ask me? Something you're not clear about? No, I think not. Yeah, I, I think I have a question. Yeah. It's a, that is a, the similar uh, exercise in the, the platform. Uh, we can write the 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 that exercise and the the discussion box or 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 it's not necessary no when no I, but the, what the exercise go. i'm asking you to do at this moment you're not going to be writing in the platform this is going to be for us to practice in class yeah yeah not on the platform but but so we're going but, to be using information from the platform but it's not going to be done in the platform but but the, maybe in, in in some case of some business uh, uh, mentioned that is is necessary to write in, in on platform platform or 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 not no no you don't have to write in the platform no 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 Okay. No, because okay. the actual, uh, the story, the story is actually it, in the platform, the, um, the news stories are used for another type of activity. They're just used to check your, okay. your comprehension, but they are, um, okay. they're not used to make sentences with the simple past or past or the past continuous. So we're just using the information from the platform to be able to practice in class. Does okay. that make sense, Samuel? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, guys, in that case, that will be all for today. I will see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget the homework so that you guys can work on that in class or tomorrow. Okay? Okay. All right. Thank you. Bye have a good bye. night. All right. Have a good night, everybody. You too, good night. There. Okay, bye. See you tomorrow. Bye, bye. See, you See you tomorrow. tomorrow. Bye, teacher. Good night. Bye. Good night, Delmi. Bye, teacher. Bye, Alejandra.